All right, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to generate key pairs using the putty key generator. So we're going to use this UI to go ahead and do that. Apart from that, we're also going to do the same from the CLI as well. I'm going to show you that uh, those options as well. And, you know, what kind of key, what what's the size going to be and so on, as you can see right here, right? 2048, RSA and so on. So all of that will be covered in today's video. So anyone who needs help with that, this video is going to be very helpful for those and apart from that this video is going to be helpful for those as well who are going to deploy their secure access resource connector and on step number seven on customized template they come across these options of you know mentioning the provisioning key ip address gateway blah 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 there's this one option which says ssh public key so the steps that i'm going to show you in this video um can be used for this as well obviously so why do you need this ssh public key this is required for troubleshooting issues or request technical support from cisco now it must be a single line no spaces returns or new lines and also uh, you need to make sure that the supported types are ssh rsa or ssh hyphen ed25519 for RSA keys 2048 or 4096 uh, bits, uh, key length is recommended. So in today's video, we're going to cover all of this. Um, so yeah, let's let's go ahead. All right, so you can download Putty Key Generator from uh, puttygen.com. And once it's downloaded, you can go to the search menu and then search for Putty Gen. You'll see um, a link to this particular application. Go ahead and click on that, and this will pop up. So um, first thing you need to do is make sure that the parameters are set up. Once the parameters are set up, go ahead and take the action, right? So in the parameters section, it tells you that what kind of key you want to generate, RSA, DSA, and so on. Uh, for the resource connector in vSphere vClient, we saw the options uh, that are available that it takes is RSA and EDDSA, right? And then the number of bits in the generated key, 2048, you can change it right here. So if I go ahead and select EDDSA, you'll find that this is uh, the exact, uh, you know, the curve uh, that we saw in uh, the uh, deployment uh, step for the resource connector, ED25519, right? So I just need to go ahead and click on, let's say, RSA in this case, and then go ahead and click on the action, which is generate. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, once I do it, I just need to keep uh, moving my mouse right here. As you, can, uh, as you can see, it says it right there. Please generate some randomness by moving your mouse over the blank area. And there you go. This is your public key. And the part that I'm interested in is this. This is what you need to copy from here and paste it in the step number seven that I showed you at the beginning of the video, right? Nothing after this, nothing before this, we shouldn't have any returns, enter this and that, no spaces and so on. Also, apart from this, you can go ahead and click on, say public key and then copy the same section that I just showed you from the, from any, just open it up in any text editor and just copy it from there and paste it in the vSphere V client, that option of custom template, yeah, the SSH public key. So this is what you need to do. And then also make sure that you save the private key as well, because then you're gonna need this private key to go ahead and access your resource connector. So you can just go ahead and click on these buttons to get it done, and that's pretty much it. Now I can do the same with EDDSA as well. Let me just clean it up. All right, so if I go ahead and select EDDSA and then go ahead and click on generate and keep moving my mouse over the blank area, this is what I get. And in this particular case, I'm going to need this section of the key, which is exactly till here. And then I need to go ahead and paste it in that uh, you know step of the resource connector deployment in the vSphere client, right? And I can do the same things here as well. I can go ahead and save the public key, save the private key, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have all the information required for the deployment. Well, not exactly for the deployment, but the troubleshooting that you know I, we discussed in the beginning of the video. Now, let me just quickly show you how it's going to look like if I go ahead and save the public key. So. Uh, I'm going to say save public key. I just opened the public key that I just now saved in a notepad. Um, and this is the section I'm interested in. This is the part I need to copy without any spaces, without any enters, returns, whatever, right? 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's take a look at how we can do it from the CLI. All right, so just wanted to address this quickly before we move to the CLI, that if you select RSA here and then generate the key, then in the resource connector deployment, as step number eight of customized template, you see the last option of SSH public key type. You'll have to type, in case you have selected RSA, you'll have to type SSH hyphen RSA. And if you have selected EDDSA here and then generated the key, then you'll have to type in that very uh, section, SSH hyphen ED25519. That's pretty much it. Now let's move to the CLI. All right, so I've opened up the command prompt in my Windows machine. You can do the same in Linux and or Mac operating system as well. So you'll need SSH a keygen for this in the first place. So you'll need to type this SSH keygen hyphen T and then mention, hey, I want RSA and hyphen B to mention the size. You do 2048, for example, or 4096. That's not a problem. So you can do 4096 as well. And that's it. Hit enter. It's going to generate the public private um, RSA key pair for you. Now, as I mentioned, 4096, that's why I took a couple seconds there and mentioned where do you want to save the file? I'm okay with the default location. Override it, yes, because I had already generated it. I don't want any passphrase on it. Hit enter, and that's it. It's done. You'll, you'll If you go to this directory, you'll find it right there, right? Your public key and your private key is in the same place. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do it from the CLI. Now navigate to that directory and fetch the file from there. Now let me quickly show you how you can access your resource connector from either PuTTY or the CLI. Now let's start with PuTTY. All right, so inside PuTTY, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and mention the host name or the IP address right here. Then on the left-hand side, let's go to and mention the auto login username right there so you'll mention ac admin right here you're done with this part of the configuration then again on the left hand side expand ssh and then auth and then click on credentials and here you need to select your private key that you're going to use for authentication once you select the private key that we generated before that's pretty much it. Go ahead and click on open. Now you should be able to access your resource connector. I'm going to make a separate video on that and how to, you know, troubleshoot and run other diagnostics and so on on your resource connector. But for this video, this should be sufficient. If you're new, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for watching the video. You have a wonderful time ahead. Goodbye.